Welcome to Sundogs TV. I'm your host and radio voice of the Arizona Sundogs, Scott Sutter. Joining me as always, Shane Ferraro. Now season already over a month into it, we have a lot to catch up on. And to start the season, the Arizona Sundogs went into the arena of one of the best teams year in and year out in the CHL, the Colorado Eagles, and took a big win to start the year and ended up going 2-1 and one in their first three games. Yeah, and to, to beat the Colorado Eagles to open your season is a victory in itself, but to do so in the Budweiser Event Center, statistically one of the toughest arenas to play in in all of the Central Hockey League, uh, you know, that's a feather in the cap of the Arizona Sundogs. Then to come home and get the first win on home ice against the Fort Wayne Comets, the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back IHL Turner Cup champions coming into the Central Hockey League, uh, couldn't have asked for a better start. Now after that great 2-1 to start, Arizona went on a little bit of a slide, lost their next six, went winless in their next eight, it's better to have those earlier in the season, you know, but it's still a disappointing start. Absolutely, and you never want to lose six games in a row, go pointless uh, in that many games. But to do it early on and get that out of the way if you, if you can, uh, it's you know, the best case scenario. Certainly not the start the team was looking for. They've got that out of the way now, and uh, it's uphill from here. Now, during that win this streak, Marco had to play with a little bit of a short bench in Texas, got in a little bit of a fight on the Texas bench. A couple of players were suspended for a game versus Evansville, where we ended up taking an eight to one loss. But you know, it's good to see the camaraderie in the team supporting each other. Yeah, you, we did lose three players to suspension against uh, the Texas Brahmas, a game in Texas. Uh, Tyler Butler got into an altercation with a Texas player at their bench. The door was open, they fell in, uh, and two of our players had to go in to help him out. Uh, certainly not what you're looking for. You don't want to see players suspended, but uh, it was a necessity. The team had to help their player out. Now, after losing stri six straight, Sundogs went on a nice roll, getting points in their next five, going 3-0-2. Two shutout, two overtime losses, but then won three versus Bloomington, Fort Wayne, and Bloomington after losing six. six that is the best way to get going. Yeah, absolutely. They turned it around, won three in a row, got points in five straight, and they did it against teams they had never seen before. IHL clubs, Bloomington, uh, Quad City, Fort Wayne. Yep. To play teams you've never played before is tough enough. You're learning about the team as you're playing them. So to get three wins in a row and points in five straight was great. Now, before this road trip that the Arizona Sundogs are currently on, in the last six, we've gone four and two with a big victory on, th on, a third, on Friday, excuse me, the day after Thanksgiving versus the Allen Americans, taking that one five to one. Big time to get a win versus one of the best teams in the CHL this year. Yeah, absolutely. And Arizona has points in six of its last eight contests. To get a win against the Allen Americans, one of the top teams in the league here on home ice was big. Uh, could have went 2-1 and one in that three-game set, ended up going 1-2, and two, uh, but led 2-0 after the first period Wednesday night, 2-1 uh, after the second period, and tied 2-2 late into the contest. So uh, could have possibly went 2-1 and one against one of the top teams in the league. Now, some things that have been going on with the Sundogs roster have had some injuries this season to counteract that Coach Marco Piacinero has had to make some changes, and he brought back some former Sundogs that have produced, especially winning the President's Cup with the team in 2008, brought back Carl Salon and Kyle Hood. How big is that bringing back veterans who have been on this team before? Oh, you said it. It's very big. You know, the injuries that the team has had to deal with is unreal at this point in the season. Usually you see injuries start to build up late in the season as the season wears on. Uh, the seasons that the team's had to, injuries that the team had to deal with so far this season uh, is not what you're looking for but Marco uh, did a good job in bringing back former players that have won a championship here in Arizona they're big key pieces to the team and they definitely stepped up when the team was hurting now one of the bigger acquisitions that's been happened recently was the trade for Luke Erickson and in his first five games with the Sundogs he's had 10 points now he's on a line with Kyle Hood and his old teammate from the Alaska Aces Cam Keith that line is producing beautifully for the Sundogs. Yeah, that's a top line. Luke Erickson was in Rapid City to start the season, uh, wasn't playing on their top line there, so he was home in Minnesota. Marco Piccinero worked to pick him up and bring him here to Arizona. He's skating on the top line, and you're seeing the results right now. 10 points in his first five games with Arizona, 14 points in 12 games so far this season in the CHL. Uh, certainly a talented player, and uh, he's happy here now. Now, during this road trip that the Sundogs are in right now, playing against Laredo, Odessa, and Rio Grande Valley, three teams that are within four points of us in the standings. How big is this road trip? Uh, it's very big. Uh, you know, we're fighting an uphill battle right now, three games under 500, looking to get to that 500 mark. Uh, but the Berry Conference, other than Bossier, Shreveport, and Allen, is very tight. Uh, third place through eighth place is separated by only a handful of points. So to pick up wins this weekend on the road uh, would be huge. Now we're going to take a quick break, quick break, but stay here for more Sundogs TV.